Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and last tutorial I showed you how to copy settings from one file to another, and today I'm going to show you how to do that in case your files that you want to copy to are not in the same set. The easiest way to do this is by making a preset, and typically I don't use presets very much, but I get a lot of people who ask me about making some, so I think I'm going to actually try to start making some presets with different things I come up with and actually I try to make a pack of those for you guys to be able to purchase at some point. Let's go ahead and start with how to make a preset of your own stuff stuff though. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make all your edits to one image. And what I want to uh, point out here is you should probably start with a neutral white balance. So something where the skin tones don't have an odd cast to them. If you look, uh, this is pretty much neutral. Her skin is mostly just a kind of yellow pink color, which is uh, her natural skin tone. And there's no over amount of yellow or blue to the background or anything like that. So I'm going to go back to this and you can see that's what we took it to. So what you can do is you can go ahead and just go to where it says presets here and then hit this little plus and it says create new preset. And now you're going to want to name it and I'll just name this Sierra because that is the name of the model. And I'm going to go here to where it says folder, create a new folder and title it Nick Smith presets. Okay, so now we're gonna hit create and that's gonna create this new folder for us. And from here what we do is we go ahead and go through the settings and actually pay attention to what we use to create the uh, look we were going for here. And I really didn't mess with too much in the way of some of these things. Uh, I don't think I did any basic toning. I don't want the white balance to copy over because what that'll do is it will actually take this temp of uh, 5817 and It'll put that on every photo. And like I said, you want to go with for a neutral white balance when you start. So that way when you apply to other images, it'll just kind of copy over with a neutral white balance and you won't have to worry about that. And that way the colors are as close to the same as you can get it. So I, because I didn't do anything with that, that's going to be checked. If you do anything with these and you want to have these saved to copy over as well, I would recommend checking that. So it's going to depend on each one you make, what you want to actually have apply. I didn't do a tone curve. I did increase the clarity a little. Uh, the sharpening is, I think, default, but I'll keep that checked just so it stays there. Same with noise uh, reduction. I left that at what default is for Lightroom, but... Just in case someone doesn't have the same settings for me, as me for default, it's a good idea to just kind of keep all that checked. Uh, I don't think I did any split toning. I did a lot with the color, and that's how I got all that effect. I did not apply lens corrections. Transform, there was none of that done. There was some effects, I think. There was process version. There was calibration. So now that all of that is checked, we're going to just go ahead and hit create. And you'll see it's saved right over here. So now if I go to another image, and this is from the same set just to test. I'm going to go try this on a third image that's not actually in this set. So that way we can see if it applies equally to that image as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this preset. And you'll see it copied over just the same way that the edits copied over on the last tutorial. It's just a little easier here because we don't have to select multiples like that and then synchronize. And it's really easy to do this on photos that aren't in the same set together. So while the other way is great if you're trying to do a bunch of local adjustments to multiple photos in the same set, presets are kind of a better way to get the same kind of feel from images that aren't in the same set. So I'm going to quick load up and transition to a new photo. Okay, so I loaded up a few samples now, and I just want to show you how it can apply to uh, some things really well and won't apply as good to others. So the main thing to keep in mind is our background had a lot of green in it, so I chose three different images that had some green in them. And I'm going to go ahead and run the preset on each, and you'll see that that did a pretty good job. It's never going to look exactly the same because the lighting conditions are going to be different depending on each uh, place you shoot, but it'll actually get a relatively similar result. So let's go ahead and apply the preset to this now. And one more here. And you'll see it, like I said, it's not, it's never going to look the same. There's always going to be a slight difference, but it will usually be pretty close to what you're going for or close to the original. As long as you have similar colors in the background and your white balance is pretty much neutral. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this to a photo that does not have any green and you'll notice it doesn't quite have the same impact when you actually apply it. So 
we just click this preset and it'll go ahead and load up and you get that kind of nice pink tone to the skin but it doesn't really have the same effect if you notice it uh it kind of just gives it a little bit of a pink tone to everything It's also affecting the background the color of the walls a little bit but it's not really the same impact so it's important to keep in mind that one preset's not going to work for every image you make and you're going to need to probably make several depending on different conditions and what colors you're actually working with in the preset so hopefully this is able to help you guys today if it was please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're not already feel free to share this on any social media you see fit as long as my work is being shared and people are learning i'm happy thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time